What's up guys, my name is Uncaged Games. Welcome back to another episode of Read and Review. This is a series where I pretty much read you guys the whole issue of Mortal Kombat and give you guys my review at the end. I also throw in a little bit of something here and there. Before I start, I want to say thank you guys once again for supporting this series. You guys just keep on liking the episodes, which is amazing. So if you guys want to see more, give this video a like. And I apologize for last episode where I whited out some of the speech text or the speech bubbles. I did that because I'm afraid if I do this series, I have a chance of getting a copyright strike because I'm pretty much reading you guys the whole issue. So I thought if I did the white bubbles, I have a less likely chance of getting a copyright strike. But for this episode, I'll bring it back because I know some of you guys like to read it on your own. So if you guys want to want me to keep the text on these episodes, please show your support because I'm risking it for you guys. Okay, so give this video a like. Also, they announced that Mortal Kombat X is now going to be in store, so you can actually go buy a physical copy of the comic. You don't have to buy it digitally, you can go in stores and buy a paperback or hardcover when they come out with the whole volume. I'm probably going to buy the whole volume, but right now I'm just going to keep on getting the digital copy so I can do these reviews for you guys. It's easier if I buy it online. And last thing is, I know some of you guys live in different places of the world, and you guys might get the comic. Uh, available for you guys sooner than I do but when you guys get the comic please I beg you guys do not tweet at me pictures of the comic don't tweet at me showing me what happens in the issue because it kinda ruins the experience for me of a reader I like to read it and be surprised the last maybe the last three issues someone tweeted me pictures of the comic and I'm like yo come on I, I wanna be surprised and some of you guys tweet me the preview pictures for the comic thinking that the whole comic is actually out when it's not you guys are saying where's the review where's the read and review yo I would do the read and review when the actual comic comes out like this comic issue number three the official date of release is January 18th and a bunch of you guys were tweeting me to do where, where's the read and review episode three uh, like a week before like come on guys come on so I will get to it usually I upload a reading review every Monday so the comic comes out Sunday and then I uh, work on the video pretty much the whole day and I upload it the next day so I will try to do every Monday a read and review because I'm pretty sure that the Mortal Kombat X comic comes out every Sunday so that's the plan but enough talking let's get on to this comic Scorpion's Apprentice Part 2 of 2. Fox! What did you do to him? Mental Entropy, a state produced by a psychedelic from Scorpion's own poison collection. He's dying! Far from. Just reliving old times so I could slaughter his clan without interruption, stoking the fire. Until vengeance consumes him. Scorpion spent years struggling to control his vengeance spirit. Now that he lost yet another family, imagine what he'll become. Spare him, Takeda. Show us all that you're brave enough to take a life. Lin Kuei. We then go back to a flashback lifetimes ago in Japan. Sherry, you never bow to Lin Kuei. We will fight. All that fighting that Scorpion did was not enough to save his wife and son from getting frozen by the Lin Kuei. Your family? Your clan? You have lost everything. Sub Zero destroyed the ice containing Scorpion's wife and child, making their bodies shatter into hundreds of pieces. How does that make you feel? You have gone to such great length to recreate my darkest day. But Sub-Zero and I never talk about feelings. None of this is real. Just a memory of a tragedy and wrath. I can't kill him. Why not? He's been harder on you than anyone else. Hanzo chews every fighter he trained, except for you. You're not a warrior. You're a runner. If you thought Hanzo was a harsh master before, Wait until you meet the real Scorpion. Takeda then taking his whip, wrapping around the neck of Fox, trying to get him away from Scorpion, but that was not enough to hold him back. Too little, too late. Seeing what Fox did to Takeda, Scorpion's rage took over. Then his inner demon was released. This clan was my family. Whoever you are, shut up and just do. Scorpion pretty much used flamethrower and burned Fox's face off. And if that wasn't enough, Scorpion took the dagger and stabbed Fox right in the heart. But that was what Fox wanted. Thank you. With every drop of blood, I grow more powerful. Raiden never told you about the power of the dagger, did he? Or its connection to Quan Chi. Out of nowhere, Takeda sliced Fox's face right in half. Now let me get this straight. If Fox can survive flamethrower to the face by Scorpion, how can he not survive this sword? I don't know, just my little thoughts. Scorpion then taking the dagger out of Fox's body. 
relieved to see Takeda still alive. Scorpion and Takeda then gathered all the dead Chia Ryu warriors and burned their bodies. I just don't see how we honor them by leaving. We should rebuild. We will rebuild, Takeda. But first we find the one who gave me this dagger. And I'll show you how to make a god beg for mercy. Now we're entering the Sky Temple. That thing is tearing across the realm, and my vision is too clouded to find it. But the price is too high, Raiden. What price? Among the humans? It's considered noble to give blood. The Kamidugu of Order has enhanced my sight before, Fujin. With a few drops of blood, I will find this demon. Raiden then seeing visions from all around the world. We see Scorpion and Takeda traveling through the mountain. We see Cassie Cage looks like she's fighting Frost in some type of cage match. That could be Sonya Blade, but I think that might be Cassie. Then we see like Kotokan, and I believe that looks like a reptile behind him. And in the background, there is Ferator. Then we see a picture of Reiko and Melina together. Um, okay, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, apparently, they're a happy couple, and uh, yeah, I... Are they gonna have a baby or something? I don't know. This is just a weird couple in general. We see Sub-Zero fighting off some robots. And the robots look like the same robots uh, like Cyrax's sector. We see Kano stabbing the hand of a four-armed warrior. I don't think that's Goro. That He looks a little weird to be Goro. I don't know. It could still be Goro, but I think he just stabbed one of the four-armed uh, guys. And then we see... Jax? I believe that's Jax because he has two metal arms. It could be someone else, but I'm gonna say Jax. And apparently he's training some type of uh, military special forces girl. I don't think that's Sonya or Cassie because her hair is not like that. We are too late. It has begun. But that was issue number three of the Mortal Kombat X comic. I thought this issue, issue number three, Scorpion's Apprentice Part 2 of 2 was amazing. I liked it a lot better than this, the first part. Now, looking back at it, the first part was still pretty good. I think we needed that first part to have this epic second part. And this one did not disappoint me at all. We saw Scorpion unleash his inner demon again. And he can control it. He can unleash it, but he can control that power. Uh, Fox apparently died from Takeda. And we saw this little vision of... Frost and Cassie Cage. We see Reiko and Melina, apparently a couple. We see Sub Zero fighting, Kano stabbing guys in the hand, and we see Jax training a female uh, fighter. And we see Fujin. I forgot about Fujin. So this issue was pretty awesome. It had so much stuff, and this issue is just picking up. Still, where is Kenshi? We have not seen him for the past two issues. But in the timeline right now, it's been a few years, so we have not seen Kenshi yet. Did he die? Is he gone? I don't know. I want that answered. But overall, this issue was very enjoyable. But I can't wait for issue number four of the Mortal Kombat X comic series because the next issue is called Caged. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm excited. This could mean a lot of things, but I'm thinking we're going to see a little bit more of Johnny Cage, maybe Cassie Cage. And maybe Sonya Blade. If you look at it, you can see Scorpion and Takeda traveling through the mountain to get to Raiden. And that's the first little slot of the vision. The next vision is Cassie Cage fighting Frost. And we can see that the next issue is called Cage. So if I'm connecting the dots right, the next issue will show us that scene where Cassie Cage is fighting Frost. And then maybe the next issue we will see Kotal Khan and so on and so forth. So I'm pretty excited to see the upcoming issues. But let me know what is your most anticipated scene for the next issues. Are you excited to see Reiko and Melina a couple? Kano stabbing a guy in the hand? What are you guys excited for? Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed, like the video, subscribe if you guys are new. My name is Uncaged Games and you just got Cage. Fewer of you than there once was. My boy Johnny Cage talking to Sonya Blade. And if that being thinks he's gonna kill Johnny, oh, he has another thing coming, boy.